Buta, where the Court of Appeals, seated in the FCT, has struck out the appeals filed by Justice Walter Nohe in relation to his trial before the CCT. Tivisa News, Celestine Area, has more. In a unanimous decision, a three-man panel of the Justices of the Court of Appeal has dismissed the full appeal filed by Justice Walter Onoye. In the appeal, Justice Onoye was challenged in the jurisdiction of the CCT to entertain the six-count charge brought against him by the federal government. He also challenged the ex parte order granted by the chairman of the tribunal that led to his suspension and the appointment of Justice Tanku Mohammed as the acting CJM. The appeal also challenged the refusal of the CCT to be bound by the orders of the Federal High Court and Industrial Court directing the tribunal to halt his trial and the arrest warrant issued against him by the CCT. Delivering the lead unanimous judgment on the expertise order granted by the CCT, Justice Stephen Adder held, Since the expertise order has been spent and cannot serve any useful purpose and judgment in the substantive matter has been delivered, the appeal is hereby struck out. Justice Ada in striking out another appeal filed by Justice Onoy on the bench warrant issued against him by the tribunal held the records of proceedings transmitted to the court did not show that bench warrant was issued, no supplementary records to establish that warrant of arrest was issued. In the third appeal which challenged the CCT's decision to hear a motion challenging the jurisdiction along with the main trial and delivered judgment same day, Justice Tonuade Kumalife Wilson held the general principles of law is that when jurisdiction of a court is challenged, the issue of jurisdiction must first be determined. But the specific legislation in Section 306 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015 overrides the general principle of law. In the fourth appeal by Justice Onoe on the refusal of the CCT to obey the Federal High Court, a High Court of the Federal Capital Territory and the National Industrial Court, Justice Peter Ige held judgments, rulings, Decisions and orders issued by court of law are sacrosanct and must be obeyed until they are set aside. Parties are bound by court orders and the order must be treated with levity. The tribunal ought to have tarried a while and made efforts to set aside the court's order to avoid frosting anarchy. He stressed that tribunal cannot sit as an appeal court on the decision of high courts. The rule of law must be allowed to circulate for peace. Come until the Code of Conduct Tribunal on the 18th of April 2019 concluded everything and they passed the judgment. So the, if you listen to decisions in 114, and in fact most of the appeals, the my laws, the justice of the Supreme of the Court of Appeal have said the subject matter have become spent. That is the appeal ordinarily have become academic. But of interest is the pronouncement that they have, they have made. The fact that in appeal 114, the 70C, the decision, of the uh, Code of Conduct Tribunal granting an ex parte order that led to the suspension of the appellant Honorable Justice Onogen has been held today to be something that was done through the back, that it was illegal. But unfortunately, it has come down too late. You also heard about... The CCT had on 18th of April filed Justice Walter Onoyen guilty of contravening the Code of Conduct for public officers. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.